Standard. standards. Wait, you think I double standards it. like favor women more than men? Yes. Hell yeah. Really? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Are you, are you yes. living in Miami? No, I live in New York and I've lived in Atlanta. Okay. I'm going to just tell you if mm-hmm. I was a hot chick, what my life would be like, just come here. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. on. That's that was fresh in It's called stuff. pretty bitch privilege. Yeah. yeah. I know. I mean, yeah, we know the pretty privilege. We get drinks. We get to go. We we know all of that. But it's not free. It's not okay. free. Into it's the not mic, free. Please. Into the mic. It's not free. Yeah. And you know what? I don't got to fuck. Bro, I had the whole so, call. I'm just telling you, nigga. Okay, you so you're a you 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I believe that the benefits that we get are yeah. superficial. The benefits yeah. that men get, like for example, if we're both going for a job, the fact that I'm a woman, sometimes the man just automatically gets it. Like you just get the job. Yeah, I want to party and all that, but longevity, like yeah. when I'm 30, 40, and the world is telling me, oh, your life is over. You're 30 and 40. You're in your prime. Those are the benefits that count. Hanging out on a boat. That's, that's but it's not, and also the another benefit of the double standard. Like I come from overseas. There's war all the time. The only reason like my people that I grew up with mm. they died and I didn't is because I'm a girl. So I do believe in double st- yeah. standard because men go fight on the front lines when women don't. That's you a good know? point. Mm-hmm. But look, they're, they're from Ukraine what and Russia, right? That? But no, hold on, real quick. So they actually came here. And they're living pretty good, like, I assume, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Versus their counterparts that are men. Guess what they're doing? Fighting wars yeah. that they don't want to fight. No, tell me yeah. if that's double standard or not. Well, I'm from West Africa. So if you want to talk... You yeah, know? so <laughs> when you talk about double standards, yeah. it's a whole different ball game. Like, yeah, where I'm from, true. just the fact that you're a woman, you could be considered worthless just because of that. Because well, of the way women are treated I would say where you're from, I, I get it because you guys are more tolerant of, like, men, just me and men. So I yeah. get that part. Men get but all generally the around the world, you guys win... <laughs> I would say nine out of ten times. Yeah, but how many of us would die if the women so... went to the war? If huh? it was the women that were in the war, we would all be dying. Like, yes, we were not meant for war. I agree. Exactly. Exactly. pretty smart. And that's why. But hold on. Y'all you guys it. want equality, right? You guys want to be equal to us. You want to be as no. similar as, I never as said men. That. Well, no, not you, but generally women want that, right? So my thing mm-hmm. is like, if you want equality, then do what we do. Exactly. But you won't. But you won't. No. Exactly. I don't want to fight in the war. I mean, yeah. I'll let you. I don't think Thank any you. of us should fight in the war. I feel like respectfully, y'all say dumb standard. It's how you approach yourself. Y'all say females get stuff freely, but it's not free. It's how you approach yourself mm-hmm. to other people. You could be a classy girl and don't get handouts, or you could be a whore and you could get handouts. Listen, I had a girl that's... Down here, though. That that's want, only down that here. That wants to be a lawyer, right? And she went to law school, went to a very good law school, did very well. And she wanted to get a job. Within her school alum- alumni, they gave her a job just for being, al- al- you know, mm-hmm. alumni. Now, granted, though, like she had classmates that are guys that are doing way better than her as well. She got the job. Now she's in the office. She's like, okay, cool. I want to level up. I want to get to a higher position in the company. Her mindset was your mindset. Oh, I'm a woman. It's gonna be almost impossible. So I have two options: either I have sex to get to the top, or work harder and see what happens. And my thing is like, okay. Yes, they're going to see you as a piece of meat at the very beginning. But like you said, how you carry yourself will determine how they see you. And she said, you know what? I'm going to work the hard way. Within two years, her actually coming together, saying, I'm going to take this seriously. I think there was a talk about double standards. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think there was a talk about double standards. Yeah. So I had to come in real fast and talk about this yeah, because this tends to be something that I talk about. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Welcome back. Breast thank breast you, in. thank you. No, no, it's just hot outside. All right. So, real quick, just for all the ladies here that think there, there's a double standard, can you name one double standard that benefits men that women also don't enjoy besides the ability to have sex without consequence? How about you answer it? Since you were talking about it the most, actually? I believe that there is this idea in society, even uh-huh. though they say if you want it done, get a woman to do it. No. I believe that this whole idea of women are emotional, women, you know, work off hormones, automatically, most people won't even give you the opportunity to try to do the job. Mm-hmm. They're just going to say, mm, man, woman, man, woman, let me give it to a man. Like what type of job? Any type of job. Correctional officer. I mean, we're talking more career. Things yeah, that are not yeah. based on your looks. Well, since you yeah, mentioned yeah. law enforcement, that used to be something nice to do are you aware of the fact that there's hiring st- protocols that favor women where there's female only announcements by law yeah but i mean that's like affirmative why they have action. to make that law though yeah but affirmative action who does it benefit yeah, yeah. but i believe that the benefits or the the claimed benefits that we get first of all there's a quota on it 
Uh Every woman is not just going to get passed along just because she's a woman. It's actually the opposite. I believe that Wolf's women are going to get turned away because they're women. And I feel like the the mediocre, the little superficial things that are considered benefits, like, oh, you're a woman, you don't have to pay for your lunch, is nothing compared to the benefits that the men get that lead to power. It leads to wealth building. It leads to all these other things that... I believe women don't even realize we don't have access to No, them. the reality is you do have though. access to them. It's just that a lot of women choose to not have access to them mm-hmm. because a lot of the time women are lazy. They want to go ahead and get free handouts and be treated like a lady and get all these benefits of chivalry, which inevitably puts you in a position where men give you things for free. Correct. Now, if a woman wants to work and get into law enforcement, get in these professions that you're talking about that they would not get, they actually would. Because if you want to go ahead and be an FBI <laughs> agent right now, there's a female-only announcement for you. There's a DEI hire announcement for Secret Service agents for women. So in law enforcement, women actually have a higher likelihood of getting these jobs. And any type of career field that favors men, they favor the women to come in to make it more diverse. So I don't mm-hmm. think this whole double standard thing that women always cry about, double standards inherently benefit women. That's yeah. why we have to create another standard for you guys, because you guys suck at most things. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest. No. The military, law enforcement, etc. Why are there two different standards? Why isn't there just one? But like I said, I believe that's a no, distraction. No, no, but, that, but the fact that that even exists proves my point that the double standards inherently benefit women. They don't benefit men. Yeah. But yeah. that those double standards are set on the fact that, one, women are not going to want to fight in the army. There's just the physical limitations that women have. Like you, I believe that there are women that say, oh, I want to grow old and go to the army or I want to be a correctional officer. But mm-hmm. typically women don't want to be in physical jobs, even mm-hmm. if you're looking at an industry like trucking. If you're looking at an industry like nursing, always, the women are always going to hold the bottom roles. And why is that? And the higher roles, because I believe it's double. I don't think it's It's their their choice. choice. Who was next to him? Put him in the car. Stage. Male. Male and female. But a cool. female. Female. Yeah. A female. So she was there even though she didn't have to be. That was a choice that she made to be there, even though she felt terrible. To be honest, yeah. she was the only the man that jumped on him though. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. True. The woman didn't do shit. Yeah. And, but, but the fact is she was still there. She made a choice to be there and be a part of that team. The fact is that yes, you're saying yes, things can happen in that way, but it's just a choice. But it's like the only thing about the career thing that like women's career matter that much. It's like, look, Ronaldo, he used to take Irina Sheik, right? Yes. Who's Irina Sheik now? Look at Ronaldo's girlfriend, Georgina. She got three times more followers than Irina, mm. and she's a professional model. She built a career based off a man's career. So it's like, if you really meet the right man, mm-hmm. you can actually build up your whole future, like your whole life. Off him. One of the things I get so attacked for a lot of the times is I acknowledge the fact that women live life on easy mode and people get angry at me for saying that, but the reality is that women do live life on easy yes. mode. And I explain what I mean by this. A woman can choose to be a hard worker, mm-hmm. go to college and build herself up. However, she can also choose to be useless and smoke weed and marry a millionaire. Mm-hmm. Men don't get that choice. Mm-hmm. The same double standard that you're talking about, there's no double standard for us. It's one standard. Succeed or not. Oh, but yeah. if you don't succeed, do you're going to have a I miserable agree. life. As a woman, you could be a bum and still find a guy that has a future. Yeah, but uh, well, true. I believe. Well, first of all, and there's more male millionaires than female millionaires. Why is that? Because yeah. no, I don't believe that. I believe it's a double standard. Like me, for example, I was a girl that started off doing the hard worker thing. Mm-hmm. I went to college, got my master's. I'm applying for jobs. I'm getting hired, and in every field that I work, I always felt like I would get into a position and I want to work what my way. What are you working in specifically? I've done trucking, like trucking, for example. I was an executive assistant. An executive assistant never would be considered for the possession of executive. Why? Because first of all, the guys who own the company, they're never even going to allow someone that is not in their bloodline or a friend or a relative to even apply for certain jobs. Me being an executive assistant was the highest position I could ever get to in that company, and I knew that. And no matter how hard I worked, no matter how much money I saved them, I'm never, I'm never going to break that mold i know because i tried and i know the politics but yes you're right there so i decided at a certain point you know i I went on a weight loss journey It, it started off as okay let me just get fit let me get myself together i went on a weight loss journey and i realized you know as a woman why'd you quit the trucking it's pointless. I quit a lot of jobs because you realize that you're just not going to get What if I told you, you that's a privilege as a woman that you can quit a bunch of jobs? You know how many guys work jobs Ever. that they absolutely hate because they must work it because men understand that the amount of money that they make in their title defines mm-hmm. them? This is one of the benefits of being a woman. Mm-hmm. You're not defined by your, your title. You're not defined by what you do. You're not defined by how much money you make. You're defined by how you look. That's the mm-hmm. reality. Okay? No one's a fuck statement. about your background and your title. <laughs> exactly. That, okay, so mm-hmm. here's the thing. That's a privilege, though. You're able to hold all these different jobs and leave and pick up another job as much as you want. What if we took a man and put him in your position? You know what would we say? He's inadequate. He's an idiot. He's a quitter. He's a bum, etc. Because men don't have a choice. 
We don't have to be like, we, we can't be like, you know what? I can't move up, so I'm going to quit. Men are more willing to sacrifice mm -hmm. to do jobs that they hate to earn money because we understand that our value de is derived by how much money we earn. Women, you guys can go ahead and pursue what you guys want. Yeah. Why do you think women work stupid jobs? Let's be honest here. You guys want to be stupid. artists. You want right. to be sculptors. You guys want to do, do a fashion line where it makes no money, etc. Women tend to dominate jobs that are useless and don't yeah. make as much money. Why? Because women have the ability, right, being mm -hmm. honest here, mm -hmm. to chase their dreams without consequence. Mm -hmm. We, if yeah. I want to chase my dreams and be a SoundCloud rapper, etc., I'm going to deal with some consequences yep. for that. People yeah. aren't going to respect me. They're going to say you're, you're a fucking dead-end rapper, etc. Mm -hmm. I get made fun of for being a loser. You don't get made of fun of. But we you get, get no, 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 no. Being a slut and being a loser are two different things. Yeah, no, us... In certain fields, you're automatically considered a slut. <laughs> like <laughs> us sitting here at this table, we're already automatically considered sluts. No. Yeah. It doesn't matter what Honestly, can I say something? I, I, I think, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. All I'm trying to establish mm -hmm. to you is that women have the privilege yeah. of not necessarily having mm -hmm. to work as hard or working a job that they don't like. Right. So since men have a higher burden of performance to earn money, we're more willing to sacrifice mm -hmm. our wants and needs for the betterment to make money because we are looked at as the providers of protectors. Yeah. You know how many guys out there work jobs that they fucking hate but they do it anyway? Correct. Because they know yes, they're they're not, But women are not willing to do these jobs. They women are. aren't willing to be sanitation workers. They're not willing to be truck drivers as you just proved. They're not willing yeah. to be um, uh, you know, forklift operators and working be plumbers, be arc. They're not willing to do construction workers. Like They're not willing to do these very difficult jobs. You guys want to sit in an office and with air conditioning and look pretty with your makeup on. You guys don't yeah. want to do the hard jobs that pay mm -hmm. a lot, by the way, because women just don't have the so same proclivity to go out there and earn money. That I agree. That's um, why y'all earn less, because you guys deserve less, quite frankly. I, I know a female to this day right now is in a truck and do truck driving, exactly. and she's a female. I know a lot of females, if you look on social media, drive trucks because they want to do it. Yeah. Like like you said, they do look into men's background. When we get a job, they don't really look in our background. They ask, well, I didn't keep us pushing. With a man, okay, let me see if you got a record. Let me see what you got going on. Let me see this, that, and that. No. Because so they I know that he can be potentially no, no, let me put it in a way so y'all can understand. Okay. For example, dating a female costs money. You don't want a nigga that don't got no money, right or wrong. Right. Did I lie? Because when I he have say, money. When he say a man will do a job that he don't want to do only because men think differently than us. They think beneficial. They think future references. Us, we think right now, this day, what no, they're going to do. No, I what? think about future, too. You yeah. say that now. <laughs> and I think but when you now. get a man, and tell me if I'm wrong, Myron, female get a man Myron. and be like, oh, you got money? How can you help me? What can you do for me? No, you, I don't do that. You don't show sure. off when yeah. have money ever and in tell, my life. I don't, Myron, you wasn't here, but y'all on this panel, and I've been listening for a minute, mm -hmm. as a person um, who been here a lot and oh, actually this bitch. learned how to do on learn on different sides all y'all said y'all need a man with money and you did too you I did say that i, I heard didn't say that i did not say that. that i asked if we if we was for money if we was to run this back that. almost every female on this panel said they want a man with money it's okay don't worry i already paid attention hold on hold on did you get divorced from a woman yeah Ooh. Why'd you get the voice? Oh, don't worry, I've been paying attention. Why, why'd you get the voice from her? I told you, distance. Distance, okay. Yeah, not you, but the channel. But then you mentioned earlier that, like, you would be with a 56 year old guy if he built himself up and had some money, etc. I remember it, saying, it, you I were didn't saying that say too. It was about, I said if it was hot, but money is a plus. So you point. missed that though. I said that I said that thing about the money is because, like, love her. So are you bisexual whatever. or are you lesbian? What are you exactly? Curious I fuck labels. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no like labels, labels are important. Important. They're, they're important. I don't like labels. I don't like labels. What was that? <laughs> no pronouns. No. Um, so why is money? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out. So you were married to a woman and then you left, and, you, and you're claiming it was because of distance. Who was the main provider in that relationship? Both. Were you were you guys really fifty fifty? Speak, yeah. Realistically speaking, yes. 50, 50. but you just said a second ago that you guys were split distance, which means you had to pay for your own living accommodations. Yeah, of course I pay for my own. She pays for her own. That's okay. like fifty in the whole relationship. Oh, she was paying for herself. Yeah. That's okay, not, so that's not really fifty. 50. That's, that's not hundred. Like, it's like okay, okay. You know, looking from a perspective like dating a woman and like dating a man as a girl is different. You know, like. Yeah, it's and it's I was actually going to get to that. Men have to provide way more value when yes. they deal with women than mm -hmm. women have to. Yeah. That they proves my point. When you get married, I wasn't disagreeing with you. I was disagreeing with no. her. But when you get married, who you want to pay your bills? 
Of course a man, he okay. has to. So you're relying on a man to pay your bills, so obviously he need to work a job that he don't want to do. Why to take care of you. A successful man can work a job that he loves. Am I correct, am I correct, Okay, you said the only time to be lying right? You said all this bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. I don't know if you just caught on. She just named the double standard right there. She did. Because, no, do you notice what she said? What if she's with a man, he needs to pay the bills, but she was content yeah. being in a marriage with a woman that was not paying the bills. Stop. That's Stop. in her world. No, no, no. But that's no. that's a majority of women with... Pro- no, that, okay. that's not true. In the black community... Wait, okay. don't say the black, black community. Help us I, I know you don't want to say that, but I'm telling you the reality <laughs> of it. So you guys are sitting here talking about yeah. finding a man with money and, okay. oh, I want this, I want Bro. that. That's in your world. In the world that I've seen and the world that I've come from, mm-hmm. women don't... It doesn't matter how pretty you are. You don't necessarily get the luxury of sitting they're saying, oh, I want a man with this much money, so I'm going to chill. Okay, look, 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 saying look, I want a man like that here. doesn't necessarily mean right, I get stop, a man stop, like stop, that. Stop, it's stop, just ladies, ladies, mind, ladies, ladies, stop, stop. Okay, so, number one, I just want to real quick illustrate the fact that she's <laughs> totally named a double standard, and that's fine. I like she double ahead, standard. Oh, okay, but she's saying that women, there, there's these double I standards like double that don't benefit women. That's one right there that proves my point. You would to- you would tolerate certain things in a relationship with a woman that you would never tolerate from a man. And that proves my point that most women, by the way, would agree with you that if I'm with a man, he needs to be at least providing something versus if you're with a woman, you would not expect her to have the same level. The reality is... Sorry, the lower end in terms of income. Let's not just say the black community. I'm not referring to upper and middle class. You can class. say, We're that's talking nice. about you can say yeah. whatever you yeah. want to yeah. say, but the <laughs> reality is if I take 100 women, whether they're rich or not... And I asked them, would you prefer a man that's a breadwinner over a man that's going to go 50-50? Would you know what they're all going to say? Breadwinner versus breadwinner. skin color? Okay, that's what we're trying to illustrate here. Yeah, that so part. just because women don't have a man that's a breadwinner doesn't mean that they still don't want it and wouldn't prefer it. No, she it just doesn't, doesn't have yeah, the ability yeah, yeah. to attract it. it question. It's not for real. Every female question. Since we on this time, since a man, y'all want men to benefit y'all. If you were to date a man that went through a rough time, would you benefit him for that moment or not? Yeah, I do it all the time. You because, say, yeah, when no, I say, like, look, look, look. listen to the when question. When you benefit the man, listen. right, you benefit the man, and then it's going to go cheat on you because every man yeah, cheats, and then he's going to fucking embarrass you in front mm-hmm. of everyone. That's I'm never staying yeah. down with that man, but, no. Mm-hmm. He can struggle himself, and then when he gets up. <laughs> You're actually explaining exactly what I mean. You feel what I'm saying? Double standard. Who, po- who y'all think posts up if us up? I'm not saying you're down bad. Mm-hmm. Your parents are supposed to lift you up, not when your I, man. Like Your parents are too old to still you be the person okay, on your you're parents. The one, you're the one. Why somebody needs to lift you up? You can lift First yourself all, your, up. The only thing yeah. your parents are supposed to be doing once you're past 21 is giving you advice. Your parents shouldn't be doing okay. nothing financially okay. or nothing. You're but a grown ass lady. I feel like at the end of the day, your you family's gonna support you. They're no gonna matter support what. you. Exactly. Yeah, support. Yeah, yeah. I don't really but think we're, it's really you we're talking about on your we're family. We're talking about it's a man really... and a woman. We're not talking about family. We're talking about a man and a woman. So if you're down, if you don't got it, you would expect a well, dude like to my have partner it. Partner doesn't which have any struggling in that point I'm not dating nobody. That's my. You're saying okay. which do you're not you're not understanding she's, what we're if you have a dude she's if, you, in if you have a dude and you're going through it and you ain't got it you expect him to jump so you're saying if he don't got it he gonna go jump on the next person that's not how it goes I don't that. that's not life if you're really sticking by a man and doing first of all you got to be a right woman to be within a man because trust me I done been with a dude who didn't have it and I ain't asked for it back where the money back. Give it back. Yeah, that's not Give it back. Um, All right, wait, hold that. on, stop real quick. Right. You said you had an issue with men cheating, right? For you? No, I've never been cheated on because I never had a boyfriend, but I've had issues with men cheating in general. Okay, so you want a man that's going to be a monogamous to you, and you said that most men are going to cheat, correct? All men are going to cheat. Oh, they're going to cheat. Okay, oh, so wow. would it be if since you think all or a majority of men are going to cheat, would it be fair to say that a man that's actually monogamous is rare? Yeah. Okay, wow. do, do you think you deserve one of these guys? Who? The ones you. who cheat? No, a guy that's monogamous and faithful. Do you deserve one? They don't exist. Okay, they but if there one they is one that existed, do you think you deserve him? Of course. I'm not yeah. feeling Emotional yeah. damage! Okay, how many other ladies here feel that they deserve a man that's monogamous? To the, only them. I mean, if that's okay. what I'm A majority of girls here think that they deserve a guy that's monogamous. Yeah, I don't think all guys are whores. Okay, <laughs> would you guys agree yeah. that a majority of men cheat, though? Yeah. Yes, I agree. I don't hold on, think hold so. on, one by one. What do you think percentage of men cheat, then? Like... I say half and half. You think it's a 50 50 shot? I think, I think so. All right, what about you? But I'm mm. sorry, I'm sorry. What about you? You think minority or majority? Honestly, I don't know. It takes, it's something a female got to do for a man to cheat, so I don't know. Okay, what about you? You think I minority or? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, what about you? I, I minority think, or majority? I, I think it's 50 50. Okay. I don't believe all What about you? Do you think a minority or majority? 
50-50. I think 50-50. Okay. 50/50. What about you? I haven't been cheated on, but I've been cheated on with, basically. Okay. So you think, well, you said all men cheat, so I know your stance, actually. What about you? I believe majority. Majority cheat? Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you? 50-50. Okay. Now let's make this more fun. A man that's actually attractive, let's say over six feet tall, has a bunch of money, maybe somewhat successful, has respect of his peers. Do you think their likelihood of being monogamous is high or low? Low. Low. High. Okay. Attractive man, tall, good looking, has money, etc. Do you guys think that he's more likely to cheat? Raise of hands if yes. If he has money, the money. That's what I mean. Yes, I the feel money. Like if he believes he has it all. he's really good looking, he's gonna cheat. Okay, so well, you guys so really respect of his peers. So some of you so. are saying 50-50, but if he's attractive and has money, etc., the chances of him going a cheating go up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Majority of you say that. Yeah. Okay. So interesting, interesting. So for you, how many of you think you deserve monogamy from this guy? Which guy? This top tier guy that's good looking, etc. How many of you think you deserve monogamy from that guy? If that's what I'm giving, yeah, if that's what we agree yeah, on. Relationship, okay. I believe. Do all of you guys want a guy at the, this caliber? I'm assuming, right? Most women want a guy that has his shit together, tall, good looking, no, etc. I want an ugly dude. Give me an ugly dude. Shut okay. up, But you would want the money though, right? <laughs> no. So you could be broke and ugly. Not even <laughs> broke and ugly. I don't honestly. When I say, because as y'all put it, y'all people want men for their money. I don't look for money in okay, a man. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Um, all right. Not anymore. Yeah, no, so what not anymore. Not anymore. You're what right. What do you look for then? <laughs> I look for first of all. I look for personality. Yeah. I look for energy. Why do you need them? Who said I need it? I have a father. That's all I mean. I don't have a father. You don't need one. No, I'm just saying, saying I don't. Have a dad, my dad. dad no, when I that. say when I say I have a dad, I mean I don't right. expect nothing. Let me let me, uh, let me just go back to to you. Um, so for you, because you think like most men are gonna cheat, or you said all men are gonna cheat, but you don't want a guy that's gonna cheat on you. So let me ask you this, like. What would you bring to the to a guy that you know is attractive and has these things? Because um, you want monogamy, that's rare, that's hard to find. So, like, what does he get in exchange for being monogamous to you? Being with me. Yeah. What, what does he get in exchange for being monogamous to you? His being with me. That's, being with you. That's my answer. Yes. As in, like a wife. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Be a wife to him. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so you think just you yourself is is enough? Yes. Okay. Let's have fun with this. Let's say you know I went up to a girl. Mm-hmm. At the club, right? And I was just being me. And I said, hey, you should date me. And she says, oh, well, tell me about yourself. And I'm like, I'm me. And then she asked me again, well, what do I you do? I speak four languages. I've been waitlisted for Harvard. Okay. It, it, okay, Bruh. let's go ahead. Okay, let's go with that. Now, so you're saying you're trying to use your intellect. Cool. What if I said, the girl? I asked the girl, oh, so tell me about yourself. And I'm like, I'm me. And she's like, well, no, tell me about yourself. And I say, I'm me. <laughs> then she asked me the third time, tell me about yourself. And I say, well, I got an extensive Jordan collection. Yeah, you can be What her response be to that? That's gay. Oh, well, <laughs> how do you think I feel when you said that I went to Harvard and I have to speak four languages? <laughs> I didn't go or, to or, Harvard. Or I got accepted by Harvard. Huh, yeah, what about it? Like, you feel it's gay? Yes. Yeah. It's you want to, you see, I don't know if you see what, you, no, you got accepted to Harvard, so you should uh, understand analogies. <laughs> now, let me ask you a simple question. Does your four languages and your, you getting accepted into Harvard benefit me if I was your boyfriend? Negative. Yes. How so? No. I am way more mature than, like, you know. That's relative. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me ask you the question again. Does me having an extensive Jordan collection benefit you? That doesn't mean you're mature. It just means you're spending Why money you on Jordan. Why are you Jordan since fucking Oxford degree? Oh, I'm going to explain. Okay, look, ladies. Okay, oh, this, is, this is where critical thinking comes in. Oh, because men and women are attracted to different things. Your degree, your education, and speaking mm-hmm. four languages and getting accepted to Harvard doesn't benefit me as a man. Just like me saying, I got an extensive Jordan collection. You'd be like, what the fuck? Men and women look for different things. What we do want, you look on. for? We want a girl that's beautiful, not annoying, not combative, not, not like argumentative, etc. Men want <laughs> different things in women, and women want different things in men. So my ability to have sneakers and Jordans and look a certain way doesn't matter because it doesn't benefit you. What benefits you is me being able to protect you, provide for you, etc. So you saying that I got accepted to Harvard, that doesn't benefit me as a man. Okay, look, what benefits you as a man and a woman? Her being attractive, her yeah. being able to be a mother to your kids, yep. her being able to build an empire with individual, like you're mostly building shit just there for yeah. you, you know? Yeah, but okay. that's, I find it interesting how I asked you, because you're basically admitting that this guy doesn't exist. You're admitting, and then when I asked you, okay, well, what does he get in return for being with you? And you listed off a bunch of accolades that don't really benefit him. But like, you understand my point, though. No. Uh, no, I do, and that's why I'm refuting it. Okay. <laughs> No, why are you refuting it? Because you getting accepted into Harvard and speaking four languages doesn't really benefit I'm that guy. I'm also hot, don't... so... Huh? I'm also hot, like, I look good. Can I... Okay, but is beauty common? No. Yeah. There's, there's attractive girls here at this okay. table right now. Beauty is common. And then also, also it's like when it clicks, you know, chemistry between people. Even if Harvard is for you, 
that's your sake, your degree. That ain't for him. He ain't in Harvard. Yeah. How can I help him? That's with a girl who was like. But how Harvard does that you What, what, what he's trying to say is, huh. you know? by you, for example, <laughs> you you was married to a girl. Okay. By you going to Harvard, that's for you. Your diploma, yo, whatever it is, scholarship and everything. Yeah. Benefit the next person. How or do you benefit your college. the man? How do you personally benefit the I man? Not it's not even benefiting a man. We're talking about what you just said right now about you going to college. No, okay, Listen, I don't agree with you, what you said respectfully because I go to Barrett University. That is a private school down here. Okay. Okay. So I got a full ride. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that, that that's full not. Ride can you let me. me finish? I'm asking you a question. Let me, You're I'm, what trying, I said. I'm trying to answer your question, but you continuously let me finish. By me going up, that's my okay. education. That's what I want to do. I have met what plenty, else? plenty of girls who done dropped out and didn't go to college, okay. and still do better than people that went to college. At the end of the day, how can I help him? You how just, you, you well, just like, answer my question. How are you, you guys just, you just a girl that just went to college? Your point, point, how did you benefit your hold boyfriend on. except for what? Like sexually? You're crazy. You so, 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 I worked at a laundry man. I benefited myself before I benefited anybody so, else. No, but we're talking about you going to what money is you making by we in college? Man who has money does not give a fuck about how much money you make. not give a fuck about you going to college. So why does he give a fuck about you? What's the reason for him to pick you, for example? So why should a nigga give me a reason? Give him a reason. Listen, I said. I can tell a nigga every day, well, hey, I go to Barry in a university. Exactly. What the fuck words. that gotta do with oh, me? Do you understand? How do you give her man? Because you asked something to say. What do you mean? Why is he gonna pick you over me? Tell yeah. me why. Just what he's saying. She wants to know why. Why a nigga would pick me over yeah, you? Because yeah, I have more common sense and I think oh, okay, logically okay, before okay. I excuse my words. Bitch, what you're saying please. right now is great bullshit. You saying, I went to Harvard. And you're not giving me a culture argument. I'm giving you an argument. Let me give you an argument. You're not giving me a culture argument. That's where you're wrong at. That's why no. I say I have more maturity than you. No. You think this is an argument, baby. No. At the end of the day, it's maturity. You can go to Harvard and I go to Barry. It's all about right. mindset. No, Kiva, what do you give to your yeah. name? You don't have my mindset. I have my mindset. mindset, too. You don't. Your I mindset is crazy right now. How can you know that you, I don't have a mindset if you don't know me? All right, all right, all right. All right. Crazy um, right now. Your mindset is not. I think the bottom line here I'm trying to illustrate is that is men don't really care about women's education and accolades. I think that's the important thing, which goes back to the whole double standard thing that you were mentioning before because you said that there's double standards and I would argue double standards only benefit women they don't really benefit men I disagree with that okay I, tell I, me how you disagree because I I believe so that the benefits that we're giving so as women in terms of double standards are peanuts compared to the benefits that men get because we get the little things like oh okay perfect example you said when it comes to resumes, right, they will look at a woman's resume and they'll just pass her through and give that her. Women actually got hired at a higher rate if they have a female name on a resume than mm. men do. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. These are points mm -hmm. that have been debunked a million times. Like, feminism has lied to you guys, right? Oh, no, they, no, no, no. It it's sat there and told you guys that you're victims, the patriarchy, no, etc. That, that, but that's not what I was going to say. Lie. What I was going to say is Modern the reason why the woman's feminism. resume is not scrutinized as hard as the man's resume is because it's already been built that this woman, it doesn't matter what her resume says because she's not going to get past this position anyway whereas a man once we have hired him there's always the possibility that he could move up and potentially be a leader in the company and that's why a woman's resume is not as scrutinized as much as a guy is and i have been a recruiter before so i know that this is in the back of certain people's minds it's just a fact once Inner, again name this, one right or that. privilege since you're saying double standards mm -hmm. and all other crap <laughs> name one right or privilege that men have over women besides the ability to where we can fuck bitches and not be judged for it go mm -hmm. ahead Okay, Name for one. example, one um, right or privilege okay, that, a man that having, men have that okay, women don't. A man having children with multiple women, right? If a woman has that children, goes into what I just said, except for the ability to have <laughs> sex with multiple women without being judged. Okay, well, what I meant more so is <laughs> building multiple households. It's not the act of the sex; it's the fact that you have built multiple households. You have multiple families. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I like the word that you used there. What was the word that you used there? The verb. I used a lot of words. And used you a used, a, used a certain verb there. Build, what do you mean build? Yeah. Oh, build. Yeah. Yes. What does it take to build? Okay, so what I'm saying is money. this. A man... <laughs> and what does it take to earn money? Men. Work. work. See? Like, Listen, yo, this is what you're trying to say. Because you guys are like, looking at it like... Hold on, stop, stop. stop. So you're look, looking look, at it look, on the screen. Women live such a privileged life that you guys forget that men have to fight. Excuse we me? don't have a choice. What do you mean you don't have a choice? Okay. Well, have choice. And I've repeated it multiple times, right? Let's say there is the woman that decides, you know what? I don't want to depend on my looks or this or that. Sure. I want to play the game. I want to play the game from beginning yeah. to the end. Yeah. That woman, I'm not going to say she's lost before she's already started, but the chances of that woman 
woman even making it to the halftime point, it's very, very small. It's like me, you women okay, almost. Okay, let's get go back to the beginning. What was the first physical. thing you said in your sentence just now? Just rewind a second ago. Which one? What did you literally say right before you started that? Oh, I said if a woman decided, if she chooses oh, to play oh, the game, oh, oh. so, so she has just, a choice. You just named that she has a choice. Be, mm-hmm. The reason why yeah. she has hold a on, choice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Stop the fucking so, show. Stop, 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 stop. 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 But a man has what I'm a choice about. to be entitled. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Stop. You're Stop. acting like there's men that are Stop not complete for two bums. Seconds. Two seconds. Okay. Privilege mm-hmm. is invisible to those that have it. The fact no. that you even have a choice, yes. and but you're complaining privilege. about having okay. a choice, is ridiculous. But you think do I you can, realize uh, you could also have that same privilege? It's not yeah. for every man. It's not for oh, every really? man. You okay? You're handsome. You have nice teeth. You're tall. You're good looking. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Not, not every man, but it's also not every woman. And that's what I was explaining to All her. Right. You're what? sitting Look, here talking about. Got, okay, right stop one second. Because okay. uh, let me just be very honest about this. Um, let's say you, uh, I, I'm uh, this guy that you're talking about. That's like I can go ahead and get girls. I'll not be honest with you, girl. most women are not going to support me financially, though, where, to the point where I don't have to work. Like, mm-hmm. I might be able to get a girl to go on a date with me or whatever, but it's, I'd be hard-pressed to find a girl that's actually going to be a sugar mama for me, okay? okay. And, and most men time. can't do it. And only a minority of men are even found attractive by a majority okay. of women. Maybe okay. so a girl, need to search hold harder. On, a girl that's Maybe mid men need to search can go harder. find a man that's mm-hmm. top tier that will take care of her. A man, though, needs to be top tier no, to even get a chance with a mid-girl. No, no, okay, first of all, okay, so Boo. look at this, look at this. Let's that say there's sucks. a man. And what this situation that I'm on, listen, this situation I'm going to explain to you is a standard situation. There is a man living in a woman's house. He doesn't have a job. The woman is the one working. She's the one that owns the car. She's bringing in the bread. He's laying on the couch. It, for whatever it. reason, he could be How a often felon. How does that actually happen? Never. All the time in certain communities. It's more standard Never. in certain communities to have households with women working and men not working. Oh, my you but guys have the privilege. Wait, 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 my you my guys reason. have the privilege of never living. But, Listen, you Jesus. guys have the privilege of never living in a certain demographic or maybe never living below the poverty line. So maybe you're not aware of it. But there are uh, certain neighborhoods that you go into, okay? My- you could be in a certain neighborhood and every single man in that neighborhood might not have a job. My- you might have the ones, and I know it sounds stereotypical, but stereotypes don't just pop out of I'm it's telling like, you a fact. Wait, 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 and there's there's some families. families. You will go to a family. Community. Again, and there's all going back, going there's back, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, hold on we're stop, talking about stop, the whole stop, line. Stop, stop, Like, you're, you're, number one, you're talking about uh, a certain, you know, <laughs> group of people, yes. right, that because isn't that's the majority. Group, uh, that's the group I came number two, from, so that's, that's cool, my reality. But here's, okay, but you got to understand that your reality, a lot of the times, doesn't reflect the real world. Yeah, my past. I pulled myself out of that. Okay, that's fantastic. How many people do? Okay, listen, I came from a poor background, too, but I would be absolute idiot to go ahead and use my personal experience and where I came yeah. from and my background but you and, try to extrapolate that and try to extrapolate that into the general population. Again, remember, the conversation was this mm-hmm. double standard that you're talking about, right? I asked you, what benefit, right? What, what double standard? <laughs> it happens in higher-end communities, too. There's men that okay. don't work yeah. real Can jobs. Can I say something? No, 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 no. Because you don't even... Because I'm asking you, name one privilege or benefit that men get Right from this mm-hmm. double standard that you're, that you're claiming that women also don't enjoy, mm-hmm. and the only thing you gave me the ability me, to move up in did, management. Did like, you say you a drove trucks? It's a fact. Did you say no, you drove I truck? never drove trucks. Oh, I worked, was working no, no, with it. I worked in the corporate side but, of a trucking company. And like I said, it was your choice to stop working with them as a man. Because I right realized, now, listen, I, because I realized all the Myron, benefits of my hard work were going to the man. I'm an executive assistant. Yeah. Hold on, Myra and Fresh. Did y'all have a choice? Stop, stop. You you do realize that like there's plenty of men also that. You probably competed with that didn't get the position either right Correct. Yeah. yeah okay Th- that's well, maybe, when i was making maybe it wasn't that you didn't get promoted because you're a woman maybe you just didn't do as good of a job no, as the guys. i got promoted but once it's you're better. the executive assistant the only place you can move up is to become the executive and it's not negative. going to happen and it's a fact it's just like if you're in a hospital okay Look. there are going to be a lot of female nurses yeah there's going to be a lot of female i mean yes there's the janitor there's the janitors that yep. tend to be male yep. you're going to have the staff in the office Office, the administration but when you get high up when you're talking about who owns the office when you're talking about board of directors when you're talking about upper level management when you're talking about doctors those roles are usually held by men, men but as a woman because as men a woman you're because, not happy because with the men penis. i'm just going to be honest men, men are better, men are just better. And, yeah, and the other thing too the, the, the ultimate benefit of being a man when it comes
comes to double standards, no, it's the but fact look, that but men America are always have assumed a to be better. It doesn't America matter. Men get life, life harder than president. women. So maybe that I shows know, that men are better at something. Women. The ultimate benefit is the fact that men always, call it a stereotype, call it an assumption. Okay, so explain this to me then. Explain this to me. Men always are to be better than women. So explain this to me. That's the ultimate benefit. Explain this to me then. So why is it that women are graduating college at a higher rate Three quarters of college attendees nowadays are women. Women are dominating education in general, right? They're just more educated, yeah. and they're starting to make more money than men in a, a lot of gotcha, major bitch. cities. Just no, they're, they're making. They're starting to make more money than men in a lot of major yeah, cities. Yeah, it's starting. It's starting. We're in the beginning. So are of something women actually new. really being held back? Like you claim that there's a <laughs> no. well, okay. My argument is this: mm -hmm. I would argue that women have an easier time in life now with the yeah. double standards that you're complaining mm -hmm. about than men do. No, no, no. Because no, you're claiming that the double standards only benefit that. men. I'm telling you that the double standards no, no. benefit women. What I'm saying is the benefits that we get as a woman that are supposedly better are actually, it, it's like a distraction. It's like peanuts because the benefits that men get when you talk about longevity Yeah, but men have to earn have those benefits. They're, they're based, uh, you know why women they're wrong? Women do too. No, no, no. no. Because women it's based on longevity. The longevity it comes mm -hmm. from because it's based on meritocracy. With women men, earn. you only get ahead mm -hmm. if you add value. With women, you could get ahead if you're no. not if you don't add value. No, look, look. If, if, if you're three hundred pounds, look. if if you're three hundred pounds and you look ugly and this this that, you don't get the benefits. The Democratic of the woman. nominee of the United look, States of America, shit. right? Fucking now, suck their suck dick to get to where she's at. Thank Are you, you seriously sitting here I'm telling me that there aren't situations <laughs> where women aren't able to move up? This woman is literally running for president of the United States because she didn't Biden earn it. dropped out. Exactly. Okay. She wasn't oh, why did she get that. Why did she get picked as vice president? She was already in the position of vice okay, president. Okay, now find Good me a word. fucking guy that got picked for where he's at because of his gender and because of his skin color. What do you mean? Yeah. When Trump was in Literally, office, if oh Trump would have been impeached, if Trump would have been impeached, Pence would have naturally stepped up. That's the order. President, vice president. He no didn't pick president. him because he was a black woman. That's my <laughs> no, point. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's my point. That's the complete point of what I'm saying. I'm saying is Come Harris, on, I'm, I'm not saying that Harris got lucky, but let's be for real. She's only where she is because Biden dropped out. If Biden would have never dropped out, she would not be in that uh, position. Yeah, but, but, but why, no, how, did the how did she get there? How did she get there? She was Biden's no. vice president. How did she become exactly. vice president in the first place? Because she oh. was nominated. Oh, why was she nominated? Why? Why? You think she was nominated because she's a black woman? Yes, That's correct. Yes, correct. Okay, so, correct. Thank, you. so thank you. So Absolutely. you just proved my point. You just proved my point. So the double standard is, as a woman, the assumption is that you're never really worthy of what you're getting. Men are always inherently assumed to be better. Well, you get that. Hold on, hold on. That matters. Look, look, look. That's what but I'm at least you get it. And then guess what? Do you know what ends up mm -hmm. happening? They get it, and then it's up to them whether they're going to prove the stereotype right and be a bimbo, exactly. or they're going to prove it wrong and show yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. But they get the right. opportunity is the, the point I'm trying to make. Did. You know how many women get into law enforcement positions, become FBI agents, Secret mm -hmm. Service, Homeland Security? They don't deserve to have that job, but they get it because they're a female and they meet the requirements. And yeah. then they're like, you know what? I'm iffy about you. But then they get on the job, they work really hard. People are like, damn, she's a go-getter and they respect mm -hmm. her. Correct. So she's got, and guess what happens with men? Same shit. We have to earn our respect too. Correct. That's why we get bullied no. and hazed, etc. When you look at male sports, you look at anything with males, right? Where it's male dominated. What do we do? We bull the fuck out of the new Correct. guy. Stop crying. More regardless, but you're already getting paid more to work. Men get paid more anyway. because they deserve more. Yes. Because yes. women don't want to work hard. Yes. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes. So all yes. Yes. Hold on, y'all. And that is the Listen. ultimate no, benefit. No, you're a man. No, the reason. Stop, stop. Because I wrote a book about this shit. Okay, I That's literally wrote a book about this. Benefit. I researched this. Yeah. Women get paid more. Uh, sorry, wait. They get paid less because they work jobs that earn less a lot of times. No, no. Right. In the same position, a woman and a man, a man shit. is going to earn more. That's are you going to watch? 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 I don't make the rules. It's a fact. Just like. Just, I, and I'm not here saying. to push stereotypes, but if we're going based on numbers, for example, I okay. have a friend. Are you saying he, that he there's a wage gap nodding. myth? Are you, are you sorry? Are you are you making I mean, the argument that there's a wage gap based on gender? I think there's, a wage, no. listen, there's a wage gap it based is. on gender. There's a wage gap based okay. on race. Okay. There's a wage gap based on let's, education. Let's there's a wage gap. Hold on, 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 hold on. Based on skills, the wage gap. Always. Let's let's. So you're saying, are you? Do you believe this whole argument that women earn eighty cents on the dollar? Is that what you're trying to? Is that the argument you're making? I mean, that's the life that's I'm living. That's the wage gap. That's the wage gap. <laughs> yeah. Myth, by the way, who else agrees with this? Who else agrees I've with seen this? That women earn eighty cents on the dollar. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask this question. Stop, stop, How one many one women here stop, at this second. table have actually wait, stop, been second, second, Raise your hands. Raise your hand if you guys agree that women earn eighty cents on every dollar that a man makes. 
I can't speak. Who agrees with that? Raise your hand if you've ever worked with that. Look, I agree with that, but because of skill, because men should be better at women's job since 13. Okay, so you've worked a job. Since 13. So before we start, before we start speaking about salary, make sure that you're talking to a person that's actually earned a salary to begin with. Honestly, it's not even about that. I got a point. He got a valid point. I'm just asking the the here ladies here on the panel. Do they believe that women earn 80 cents on dollar every man makes? Who agrees with that? Okay, so you. you two agree with that. I agree because of skill. Because men are better at basketball, for example. Who's going to watch the WNBA when they can watch okay, somebody that's, dunk? That's an extreme example, mm-hmm. but okay, fine. <laughs> so so you're so you're claiming that... When, are you aware of the fact that, that the reason... That wild. Okay, the reason why women earn less than men a lot of times is because... Okay, let's just be honest about this. They work jobs, okay, <laughs> that pay less a lot of times. They go into social work, nursing, jobs that, you know, teaching, etc. They want to be, uh, you know, executive assistants, etc. They want to be more and more clerical jobs. <laughs> women have more education. Than ever. Women have more education now than ever before. They graduate colleges at a higher rate, etc. But why do they earn less? Well, we got to look at the real things. When you look at the wage gap, right, what you're really doing is you're taking all working men and all working women, mm-hmm. right? Well, they're not accounting for hours work they're not accounting for degrees held they're not accounting for experience they're not accounting for meritocracy education none of that stuff they're just mm-hmm. taking all full-time working men and all full-time working women which if you do that then yes women earn less but then if you actually account for experience education all the things that actually matter that are heavily influenced with how much money you earn the wage gap evaporates As a matter of fact women actually earn more than men when you actually account for apples versus apples and not apples versus oranges the I problem is that a lot of people will sit there and say oh well women earn 80 cents on every dollar that a man makes. Yeah, that's because men take less vacation time, they work more hours, etc. A man doctor is going to be the head doctor because he will devote more hours to his job instead of going having babies and like True. raising See, children. That's what that's first time. All the time as well. You guys are speaking they just deserve right it more. You know, All they just deserve it more. So y'all see what he was saying the first time, though, when he said y'all have a not, choice. I was not arguing so with y'all, him. Y'all don't, now y'all hearing what y'all saying right now, that's going back on him saying that females I never have more of a choice than a man do. As to what y'all saying? Because no, I believe women are pushed I'm not saying into that. It. If a female lose a job right now and don't have shit, you could go right on the back page and do what you gotta do and make some money. <laughs> a nigga cannot go and sell no. dick. A nigga I mean, cannot go and sell dick. dick. You know lie though. Yeah. A nigga cannot go out and sell dick like females. My cat, yeah, but they just made three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's a choice. Yeah. So yeah, go. Okay, look, guys, 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 guys. To go to. So look, I just systematically debunked your argument about women earning earning less than men. The reason why women earn but less is because... But those are numbers. Y'all don't try. Numbers. You have to try. We're lazy. Can you stop just run, run, yelling? <laughs> We're lazy. What? So... You're lazy. You said that's not numbers? Yeah, because you're not giving me an, an exact statistic. You're saying this whole Google, Google it. Google it, like, it right Look now. up some exact statistics Speaking because Google, I know for a fact. There's a study that Google did and they uh, found out... Guess everything who, on there guess, is not factual. Yeah, I was going to say not really Guess who made exactly more? Right Google. Who? Who? In the company. In that company. Yeah, because it's Google. Right. But you just ask for stats Your and facts. facts. No, what I'm saying Google? is it's because it's Google. That's a company that's already built their foundation on things like sustainability and now you're more rights. Amazon and all that you, kind of you missed the whole fact. concept here that <laughs> the reason why men earn more than women in a lot of the scenarios is because of the factors I just mentioned. Because they're men. Because no, they're because they're better at that Bruh. job. That's why. No, because yes, they're, they're better at that job. No, it's the whole no, Adam no. and Eve thing. They're men. It's like, no, no. I, I, she doesn't get it. Fact. I'm not no. saying that there's anything Did you, did you literally miss the part where I said hours work, types of jobs work, yeah, like, men work more dangerous jobs, that. men work uh, more hours, men take less yeah. vacation time, men but are more I'm likely saying, to do overtime? if you go position for position, if you go in a company and you go, if you Position for position. Okay. You know what company did that? Literally, he just said it. Google, Google did it. That's what. That's Google. So, yes, but so that's, 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 that's Google. That's Google. It's one of the big that's, 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 that's like six companies. Bro, look, look, look. Mm-hmm. You got you got to get your head out your ass for two seconds and analyze <laughs> the facts. That's no, Google. No, that's but, Google. No, but that's, Google. that's literally it proves the point because you made the argument earlier. If they work the same position, the women still, still earns less. But then we took an example where they're both. Same position, Equally. same job, mm-hmm. and guess who pay, gets paid more? The mm-hmm. women actually earn more. Mm-hmm. So what I'm trying to say is that if you're going to go ahead and make this argument that women earn less, then we need to go ahead and compare apples to apples. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The reality is women don't work infrastructure jobs that pay a lot. They don't mm-hmm. want to be Alaskan fishermen. They don't want to be plumbers. Engineers. They don't want to be electricians. They don't want to be power mm-hmm. linemen. Well, guess what? You're not going to get mm-hmm. paid as much as someone that risks their life. And here's yeah, another thing, okay. too, that I love to uh, that women love to say. Oh, well, men are controlling all the money and all the success. I well, guess what? Hold, hold on. That's what uh-huh. you were saying before. Who they're in all the money. You're, and all you're the making success, the complaint man. that they're on all the boards. That's what you were saying before. <laughs>
That's quite Obviously, literally what I you just said a second ago. Okay, when it comes to okay, I understand that a man doesn't walk into a room and says, "Oh, I'm a man. Give me the higher position. Give me more money." I understand that, but there's something already in our this whole double standard. There's something innately in our way of thinking that naturally we assume, like just like you said, men are better. Okay, that's just, just one thing. That is said. the double standard. Men are better. Just one no. thing. You said another They're better thing. You're and calling women still you're get calling the get to the executive that's position. My point. So so it's like, look, 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 that's personal mm -hmm. experience. If you could get to that executive position doesn't mean that if any woman went to your position wouldn't oh. get to that position well, it's either not, it's not personal it's experience personal. Yes, it's it not personal. well if it comes from you it's called personal experience it's not personal experience. <laughs> yes, it's it's right here. Because what i'm explaining what i'm explaining it's not just like an american thing it's an international thing the first time i really noticed <sighs> is when i was in school for international business okay for example let's talk about international business let's say there's a company like shell right shell has a contract that they're working on they're not gonna send her in that situation the assumption is that the man is always gonna have control over the situation because you want to know why because on the board of directors it's okay, gonna be majority stop stop, 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 stop. Uh -huh. this literally was just what I said a second ago you made the, are you a long-winded explanation <laughs> as to men being on the board of directors and how women can't move up because men are on the board of directors correct because it's a system. So this very system that you're complaining about. See, I'm not women, complaining. No, 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 I don't have are. an issue with it. You I, I, you're I left you're the making the argument world. that there's this glass ceiling, I'm out here, which I'm, is a I'm feminist modeling, talking point. I'm doing YouTube okay, videos. Okay. I took the which easy path. Yeah, you did take the easy ride. Because you had the ability to do so because you're a female. But there's men that are just admitted in your own argument. You took the easy side because you're a woman. Like there's men on this path also. How many more? Okay. No, there are not men on this path. Yes, there is. There are not that man. How many men are not that man? YouTube and get. Oh. What you talking about? What in my world? Yeah, in my world, that's the problem. You it, live in your world, and yeah. not yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's that's a problem. problem. Oh, no, no. Okay, I've shown you different guys, worlds. Guys, we're gonna I'm, we're gonna I'm cut the cast club. Hold on, hold on, be quiet for a second. Be quiet. Guys, we're gonna cut the cast club. Come on over to cast club so we can talk about this. Okay, you just meant yeah because you made the argument.